there is a great need for a variety of funding sources to facilitate the development of clean energy projects and new innovative technologies to support a net zero carbon economy, including wind, battery storage, solar, carbon capture, vehicle electrification, hydrogen, and other sustainable fuels. We have seen how global financiers participating in the U.S. market import ESG concepts seen in other parts of the world. For example, the emergence of ESG-linked loans in the U.S. follows European financings over the last several years. Over the last decade, the Department of Energy has closed over $30 billion of deals covering more than 30 projects in the energy sector. The Department of Energy's Loan Program Office has more than $40 billion in loans and loan guarantees to deploy and is poised to accelerate the progress towards a net zero carbon economy. As our global community grapples with identifying funding sources to support a net zero carbon economy, jurisdictions such as Australia at the forefront of renewable transactions, including battery storage financing, Europe and Asia, who is poised to become a leader in offshore wind with an expected 42% share of the offshore wind market projected in 2025, are providing guidance as to how to address key considerations in renewable projects. The key considerations funders are addressing in the path towards a net zero carbon economy are first, assessing the impact of new and innovative technologies on construction and operational risk of projects throughout the tenor of the debt. Many of these technologies have been implemented around the world and the ability to understand the development and implementation in other jurisdictions provides a useful framework for the entry of emerging technologies into the United States. Second, Determining the amount of leverage sustainable by novel revenue streams, including tax credits and payments from contracts that may deviate from the traditional revenue contracts financiers had become accustomed to, including what happens during potential distress periods to those very revenue streams. Third, identifying the most efficient financing structure for the types of projects considered for the financing. And fourth, Integrating and identifying rapidly evolving ESG considerations, legislation, and trends, and assessing their impact on the financing and relevant structures. The evolution of traditional single asset project finance into hybrid financing structures supporting construction and operation of many net zero carbon projects within a single financing leads to novel considerations funders are working through on the path to a net zero carbon economy.